Welcome to another painting time lapse. I haven't done an oil painting time lapse in a while and I really miss them, so I'm gonna keep this intro short. Before I begin today's video, I just wanted to share with great pride these amazing, stunning renditions of my line work for the October coloring challenge at my Patreon page. I am simply blown away. If you guys would like to enter November's challenge, and if you would like to see a 30 minute version of this video that contains instructional commentary, along with other fun daily rewards, please check out my Patreon page at patreon.com slash happydartist. Okay, so on to the time lapse. As usual, I will begin today with talking a little bit about the backstory of the piece and my inspiration for it. So for those of you who have been following me on social media, you might know that this is actually the second piece that has this type of evening oceanscape with a giant goddess woman um, piece. I have done one before, it is titled Nocturne, and this current painting is titled Interlude. So I guess I'm trying to follow a theme of um, the names being musical terms and also giving a feeling of like a dreamy evening nostalgic type of like almost like a night song and the stories I'm trying to tell in this entire series is just a benevolent sea goddess and and that's the reason why she's kind of larger than life like she's so big compared to the tiny little ships she is immortal she is a sea goddess and she is kind of sending a blessing to the ships as they're about to go off to sea. So she's going to be watching over them kind of like a guardian angel and wishing them well and making sure that they're able to complete their journey and arrive safely home. And I actually got inspired by... Um, I got the inspiration from this piece largely from <laughs> just being a nocturnal night owl, like I do a lot of my work and painting and I, I don't sleep until like 3 a.m. sometimes and being constantly immersed by like the darkness, like every time I look out the window I see just a dark evening sky. Uh, it puts me in a really calm mindset and I just wanted to convey that peaceful, quiet calmness in my paintings. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this little blurb about um, the backstory of the piece. Anyways, on to today's topic of discussion. So this wasn't really a question that anyone has asked me overtly or not many people have asked me, but I noticed a lot of people expressing that they are a little bit intimidated to try oils or a lot of people say, I've only worked with acrylics and watercolors or I've only worked with color pencils and markers and oils seem so different and I'm, I'm just, you know, intimidated and don't have the courage to start oils. So I just wanted to give you guys some tips on how you can really ramp up your courage and also your confidence and just have a positive mindset while going into trying a new medium. And this can work for someone who wants to start trying oils or maybe someone who wants to start trying acrylics even, someone who's never painted before. Or even someone like me, I tried oil painting long before I started using um, markers. So I was actually a painter before I was an illustrator. So anyone who is looking to step outside their comfort zone and try a new medium, I have some, I guess, words for you. Um, I just want to say that when you first start trying a new medium, the source of fear might come from the fact that it'll force you to be a beginner again. So what I mean is, let's say you're really good at colored pencil and you're, you've practiced a lot in it, you know how to work with it, you know how to achieve the effects you want to achieve in it, and all of your drawings turn out fairly nicely. And then if someone forces you to all of a sudden try oil painting, you don't know how to work with it, you might make a lot of mistakes, you kind of feel off again, whereas you're already used to mastering something and being fairly comfortable with it, now you have to confront the reality of working with something new and starting all over from scratch and making mistakes and maybe creating pieces of artwork that don't look as good as you're used to. That is totally normal. That happens to me, it happens to everyone, but the thing is, is even if you start off and you do make, make mistakes, you will find that starting a new medium, you will ramp up way, way more quickly than if you start 
drawing or doing art, period. So if you've already mastered color pencil, then you already have a pretty good grasp of, let's say, what composition looks good, the correct proportions for a face and what colors look good together, the proper way to incorporate highlights and shadows. You already have all that knowledge. And when you start to pick up a new medium, oil paint, you can use that knowledge to help accelerate your ramp up period. So all you'll have to figure out when you try a new medium is basically the, the literal ways to work with the medium rather than the ways to be creative or ways to have a good eye for composition. All of those small kind of muscle memory things that you pick up or those, um, those facets of intuition that come with a lot of practice, um, those will stay with you no matter what medium you choose. So yeah, if you're watching this and feeling a little intimidated to start oils, I really encourage you to just try because if you're good already at the current medium that you're using, chances are it will take you way less time to master oils than it will to master a brand new medium having no background at all. So yeah, do not be afraid. Have confidence in yourself. I have confidence in you and I truly believe that the rough ramp up period will be over sooner than you expected. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and my quick tips. If you're interested in limited edition prints of this piece, I do have them available at my shop at happyd-artist.com. Alrighty, that about wraps up the time lapse for today. I hope you guys found this video inspiring and motivating and I will catch you guys next week. Bye.